Bonjour à tous. Je m'appelle Jonathan Ton Cello Coach sur YouTube. And je suis là pour faire des réponses à votre question récemment. Et pour cette raison, je commence en français parce que les premières questions du Mary m'a demandé ça serait bien que tu parles un petit peu français, s'il te plaît. Alors, Mary, c'est bien. J'ai parlé un petit peu français et je parlerai et monterai des vidéos françaises, de chansons françaises dans l'avenir. So, attends un petit peu parce que j'ai déjà découvert plein de chansons très belles, mais les autres ne me connaissent pas. Et pour cette raison, je monterai et je diffuserai les chansons françaises pour tout le monde, mais les vidéos, je parle français pour vous et pour tout le monde. D'accord? Merci. Je change les langues. The second question is from Micah. She writes, Some things like that for you is just easy. Like everything else is quite self-explanatory on that line. No, it isn't. Just saying. You're right, Micah. Sometimes I do make a presumption and I want everyone to know that watching this channel, subscribing to this channel, that I do not teach with any presumption that you know what's going to happen. And so I'm sorry, Micah, for making that presumption that everything is explanatory. Sometimes when I do rush through some of the explanations because I have to keep the video short. So my apologies because I guarantee all of you, I do not make presumptions. Our next question comes from Hannah. She asks about a cello case and that she didn't find a video about how to choose a cello case. She would love some help, and by the way, her cello is about $3,000. Hannah, there is a certain formula for a cello case. You're supposed to buy a cello case to half the value of your instruments. No, you're not. If so, then I would buy a cello case, well, over $30,000 for my cello, and there aren't cello cases like that. So. What I'm going to do for you, Hannah, and the rest of everyone watching, is when I return to California for the next four weeks, starting next week, I'm going to mount a video of different cello cases side by side and show you a good comparison of an Eastman case, hopefully they have a band case, a soft case, and mount some questions and some answers about cases particularly. So stay tuned for that. That will happen in the very near future. Mr. Doctor, by the way, you give some great questions asks, how do you conquer stage fright if you have had it while performing or any other time? Like I wrote to you, and I'll explain to everyone here, stage fright, being nervous about what you're about to do in front of people, perform music, is a natural phenomenon because it's anxiety and you never ever conquer it. What you need to understand is that anxiety, that energy, that desire to perform well, transfer that into something else. I used to get stage fright and I don't get it anymore because I've transferred that energy into a different physical manifestation. So I tend to sweat. I don't get nervous. My hands don't shake. My, my palms will get sweaty, but I do sweat. And I know that's my body's way of heating up and getting ready to perform. And it only happens for the very first round. So get the idea out of your head that you can ever conquer stage fright. It is part of you. It is part of all of us, but you never conquer stage fright. You only make that energy and you transfer it to something else. We all get it. Our next question comes from NV. I always loved the cello. I learned it as a kid some five, six years, and I restarted last year about after a 15 plus year break. But I feel it hard to keep constant with my studies. And I believe my ADHD plays some nasty part in it. If you have ever had an ADHD student, do you have any tips for sharing to keep the motivation up? Well, Envy, yes, and I was able to teach these children and adults cello. And what you need to understand, you have the ability to both be laser focused and completely all over the place. You must train your mind to understand that when that partition is on the stand, when the cello is next to your body, you become that laser. And if you can manage that laser focus, then you're doing good. How long will that manage for? 
The problem is only about 15 minutes. After that, your mind will start to wander. Everybody's mind starts to wander. So you need to train after the point of that laser focus, NV. You need to look into what you're doing mentally after you have succeeded in the first period of deep practice. That is the goal for you. Our last question comes from Samuel. Your content is so amazing and genuine. Thank you. And so helpful during a time of having no teacher. Well, that's why the channel's here. Much appreciated. You're welcome. I'm surprised you don't get more views, but I guess having fewer views keeps the teaching a bit more one-on-one, -on -one, no? Yeah, like that. When I first started doing these question and answers, I had three questions. Now I had to choose between all of them. So, you know, it does grow the channel and the more you guys like, share, and subscribe, the better it becomes. I do it for you guys. He finishes his question by asking, do you think you might do a cover tutorial of This Is Me from The Greatest Showman, the latest film from Hugh Jackman? And I must say to you, Samuel, thank you. There is so much music out there. Everyone watching this video, make a suggestion, any video, make a suggestion to music that you find that touches your heart, but may also sound beautiful with cello. I will always watch your suggestions, take them into serious consideration, no matter the genre, and if it touches my heart, and I can see it touching everyone else's heart, like this song, This Is Me, I will do a cover and a tutorial for it. So in the video where they're showing the movie and the idea to try to get producers to buy into it, Hugh Jackman's there and the whole vocal staff is there and they're performing the piece and luckily they filmed it. It's not the popular 56 million view video, it's the one with less than 100,000. But it's so authentic and it's so genuine and you really feel that the singer believes in those lyrics. And when I read that and when you guys share with me parts of you that you find out there expressed in music and you find that it might also sound beautiful with cello. I feel that we connect. So it's a beautiful song and made me cry, I have to admit. It did make me cry, it made me a little emotional. And that's what I love. That's what I love about this channel. That's what I love about cello. And that's what I love about YouTube, making this international experience. I don't want to only make it an American experience or an English speaking experience. I do want to make it a fully international experience because when you suggest things, it makes this channel so much better. Well, thank you for watching my video today. Here are some videos that might interest you. Please give a like if you like this channel. Subscribe if you're new here because I do this mostly every week. And consider sharing it on your socials. The channel could really use your help. Thanks for watching and stick around. We're all going to learn a lot.